Okay, so today I got my results. Um, yeah, today I got my results. Turns out <clears throat> I was right. So when I said to the doctors in December, I think it's in my lymph, like lymphatic uh, area, my primary lymph nodes and things, it is. So it has spread quite drastically. Um, and from what I believe, it's now a case of just keeping me alive. So it's an interesting one. Do I get sad about this? Do I get angry about this? Uh, do I get upset about this? And I'll tell you what, it's all of them. I've got angry. I've been upset. Um, it's hard. It's very hard. Um, Everyone has fought so hard today to get an answer. Um, it's horrible that we've had to threaten people. Um, be nasty to people. And use everything that we can to throw it at people. But I've decided to move to a different team to treat me now. Um, I want to know if there's something that we can do to stop this. Uh, it's all up my side uh, and into my lymphodes. Well, lymph nodes. <laughs> Got that wrong. Whoops. Um, so, yeah. I'm not really sure what to say to everyone. But I want to I wanna assure you that tomorrow, now I know this information, um, hopefully I can be a bit happier. And at least I know that the reason I'm getting sick and I'm not feeling well is because there's things attached to my lymph nodes and no re there is uh, cancer in a different form. I haven't been told what type of cancer this is um, yet. I can't know until next Thursday. Uh, the stuff they took out me the other day was a sarcomatoid carcinoma, um, which is the one they took out here. Uh, they're not sure what the type will be that's in my lymph nodes um, they're not sure of anything at this point in time um, so yeah I've decided to have a referral put through to a different team at one of the specialists uh, who can potentially try and slow this down and potentially stop it all um, but as they said it was it's just a case of now prolonging my life as much as possible. Now, I'm not sure how to deal with that. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure how well my family are coping with that. Or Claire or people close to me. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to take it either. It's devastating. Um, what what do I do? Do I have? surgery and stuff and be in worse pain and stuff like that and know that in a couple of months it's going to come back um, and not enjoy myself and do stuff that I want to do or do I look at it from a different perspective fight it all, of, all that I can uh, and all the way um, uh, or do I just Leave it and enjoy myself. 
that's something I need to work out. And I need better education on what's going to happen if I, I do certain things. I need better education on possible things that could help and make me better. Um, and that is key. There's nothing I can do at this point in time without that information. And yeah, everything literally kicks off at the start of next week to find out all that. But yeah. I spoke earlier about the community hub and people supporting each other and supporting me. Um, I was gonna do a video today a proper video about what that was all about um, but I'll put a link below I think I've explained it pretty well on the website um, peewee.toms.com check it out on the website um, and yeah if you want to help build that community hub up or you want to be part of it uh, send me a message or an email or something I'm one man, but with everyone else we're strong, very strong, and with all your support I'm finding this a lot easier to deal with, so I thank you so much. So much. Now, I'm sorry it's not good news. Really sorry. <laughs>